pediatrician in Puerto Rico published a study of infants who were engaged in risky behavior. She saw child after child with teeth rotted off at the gum line. And the reason was very simple. The mothers were putting them to bed with milk or sugared milk, which is a common practice. That'll rot the baby's teeth right out of their head. So she tried various levels of fluoride. That didn't help. But she also used povidone iodine. Six times a year, they dabbed the baby's teeth with a Q-tip. None of the fluoride preparations had any beneficial effect, but the iodine reduced the expected tooth decay more than 50%. Just think what could happen if they'd done it once a day. Why did iodine work so well? For one thing, it's a nutrient, and humans need it. And for another, the preparation was the kind that kills germs on contact. Tooth decay and gum disease are caused by germs. You kill the germs, you stop the problem. It's really that simple. I found lots of things work in an oral irrigator. Uh, Even just plain water helps. But if you put something in the water that bacteria don't like, that works much better and faster too. Iodine is fast and thorough. You don't have to blast them off like a car wash. They're swimmers. So if you change the saliva they're swimming in to iodine-treated saliva, they'll quickly die, and that's what you want. Lots of things kill bacteria. Salt water, for example, will do just fine. The easy way to use it is to have it already made up so you can easily pour some into the irrigator and squirt away. Here's my simple recipe for oral health. First, you take one large mason jar. Glass is best, but plastic will do. Then add one inch of salt and one inch of baking soda. Now pour in enough hot water to fill up the jar and then mix it. Now set it under the sink and let all that unused salt and soda sink to the bottom before you use it. Grit in your irrigating solution will plug your water irrigator. So let the grit settle out. Next, you can begin your normal oral hygiene procedures such as flossing, toothbrushing with the bass brush, toothpicking, to stir up the gooey bacteria that grows on the teeth and clogs up the gums. Once the grit has settled to the bottom, you've made what's called a saturated salt solution. But it's really too strong. So now you can dilute it 50-50 with warm water and the temperature will be just perfect. You can add a splash of iodine if you like, but now you're ready to irrigate. Check the power setting to make sure it's on low and you're going to use the big tip, which you can point in between your teeth one at a time all around your mouth, first outside and then inside. The reason you're using the low setting is that you're not doing a car wash. You do not need to blast these bacteria off your teeth, and just as we showed you in the earlier part, you can blast them into your bloodstream too. You don't want to do that. You just want to rinse them away gently with a good firm stream of water. Once you've finished with the irrigator, you need to rinse out the irrigator or it won't run next time. Salt will plug it up. So, all you gotta do is run some fresh water through the irrigator before you put it away. But doctor, what if I have bigger problems, like deep pockets? Then you probably need some special training and some special help from your dentist. Deep pockets tape deeper tools. Once they are well, they probably will heal up to the point where this extra attachment is not necessary. But for now, I assume you've got some serious deep holes where the bad bugs have eaten away a lot of bone. In most cases, there is an amoeba involved in this type of disease. So I sincerely hope you've had that treated because they are not your friends. And they don't go away because you want them to. They're parasites. They're living in your gums. That's what's causing these deep, deep pockets. Your dentist or hygienist can train you to use a cannula in deep pocket areas. A cannula is a tiny tube with holes on the side. It can be attached to your irrigator. And when the irrigator runs, it sprays out like a rainbird yard sprinkler in all directions. The sprinkler needs to be gently inserted into every pocket 
and sprinkle the pocket with a strong solution of bug killer. Like I said, iodine is one of my favorites, but lots of things work. Even herbals. What you use is up to you and your dentist. And if they have a microscope, you can confirm that it actually did kill the enemy. Unfortunately, those amoebas are hard to get out because they don't just live in the gums. They live throughout the body. So you will need special help to get rid of those. The key is that when you look under the microscope, the bad bugs are gone. If not, use a disinfectant, an antiseptic, that kills the bad ones. It's as simple as that. Iodine kills everything, but it can stain the floor and the ceiling, your clothes, orange, if you're not careful. Chlorine, diluted bleach or chloramine tea, kills on contact also. Herbal oils, such as oil of oregano, are somewhat effective, but don't take anybody's word for what works and what doesn't. Do it and then look. That's the only way to be sure. Another product that is particularly effective that can be used with oils is ozone. Ozone is O3 and it can be bubbled through stuff like oil of oregano or even olive oil and then inserted into the pocket where it becomes a very effective bug killer and it kills viruses as well.